Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk shotguns. Pump action versus semi-auto versus double barrel. All of the loads used in this video will be Fiocchi 7.5 shot high velocity bird loads. But let's start with the pump action shotgun. I believe this is the most popular style of shotgun out there. People like the auto loading. Well, it's not auto loading when you manually load. And the advantage there is that you have less cause for failure. Unless you short stroke it. And that, that happens at times. But if you, you train properly, it probably won't. A pump action shotgun is typically inexpensive. Right around $300 to $500, you'll find a quality pump action shotgun. This is a Mossberg Maverick. This right around 2 250 somewhere in there and that is known to be one of the best deals you are going to find a lot of people when pump action is spoken about they they claim that if you do this that's going to make the intruder run away this is not a self defense video uh, however i will say i do not fall into that mindset i do not believe that simply racking it is going to make somebody leave or, or get scared and leave at least not a rational minded thinking person anyways let's go ahead and take a few shots i've got a silhouette here Pump action. and that hits you back a little bit but it's a it's a common shotgun a lot of people enjoy the pump action i certainly do and this Maverick is a nice model, although there are several, several, some of those Turkish maids. I know a lot of people uh, don't prefer that, but you can get those under 200 bucks. And if you, if you like pump action, they're available in many different formats. Now let's talk semi-auto. Here we've got my Remington V3 Tactical with the Versamax gas system. Whether it's gas or inertia shotguns, the recoil is less with semi-auto compared to pump action. Also, the rate of fire is much quicker with semi-auto shotguns. Whether it's a magazine fed or a tube fed like this, the rate of fire is really fast. That is considering that there are no stoppages. And that is an issue or could be an issue with a semi-auto shotgun. Is that you have to be quick with your clearing techniques. So, so long as it functions well, which this one really does, you should experience less recoil and a quicker rate of fire and this v3 tactical has very nice recoil management i've shot everything through this and it is a real nice shooting semi-auto shotgun there it is typically more expensive some more mechanics built into it however if you like firing one after another without having to manually load, semi-auto just might be the way to go for you. Now we're going to talk double barrel shotguns. What I have here is a CZ Sharptail Coach Gun. It's a beautiful shotgun. It's a bit costly. You, you may notice that these can be somewhat expensive. A lot of hunters like them. It does offer a fast rate of fire. This is a single trigger. It also comes with a double trigger action. People have their preferences but check out that color case hardened and the turkish walnut it, it drives up the cost on this you may have seen over unders those are really nice as well but there's a whole fan club out there of who just love double barrel shotguns and i'm one of them an advantage here is that you could you could put various chokes in each of the barrels so you may have a improved cylinder on the other side of modified whatever the case now this, this has fixed chokes but not all coach guns do or double barrels with the 28 inch barrel that people use to hunt so you could put various chokes in the disadvantage is you're limited on the shots that you can fire which is essentially two i know some people can load fairly quickly let's go ahead. and that was two quick shots with this coach gun. My Stoger coach gun has a, a barrel with an improved choke, uh, improved cylinder, and the other one is a modified choke. 
but there are models you can screw in chokes and that's nice. You can't do that with any other shotgun, you know, you can't do it, you can, you can screw in a choke with a pump action, but you have one barrel to work with. Here you have two. Also, you can shoot mini shells, no problem, out of this. You can put one mini shell in one and a regular two or three quarter, three inch shell in the other. This shotgun here offers the availability to choose with that lever right there what side to shoot first. So if you put if you had a mini shell in there, you wanted to shoot that one first, you certainly could do that with this. Outside of that, most will tell you in the manual what what barrel will fire first. Let me load up a couple mini shells. All right, here we have the mini shells. This is seven and a half bird shot. Little mini shells here. These do not offer any recoil as it is, but the coach gun is a bit heavier. All right, because you have two barrels. Most of your weight is in the barrels. So I expect zero recoil here. And you can hear that silhouette. Another advantage of a double barrel shotgun is that they disassemble so easily. This lever here, Pulls off this forend, and then all you have to do is work the action lever and it comes apart. Now, I was able to transport all of these shotguns in one range bag, and I put this in a side compartment just like this, and that is really nice for transporting. So, the double barrels are great, they're, they're easy to operate. Very, I don't know that I ever heard of any problems with a double barrel, although I'm sure it exists, but that was. My range review of pump action, semi-auto, and double barrel shotguns. I know everybody has a favorite. What I want to know is, which is yours? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.